what is going on fellow explorers we are back at cypress lawn cemetery this week this is kind of where we're at this place is massive it's not at a shortage of interesting graves interesting people the sprinklers are over there if i go too far i'm gonna get stuck in the sprinkler kind of a drizzly day it was sunny for a minute and then it kind of got drizzly yes palm trees we have palm trees here wow look at that I love this cemetery. I love it. Let's go dig deeper into this cemetery. There isn't, a, you know, there isn't a loss of places to see and visit up in here. I saw some interesting ones back here. Let's go check them out. Tour guide time off to the right is the, the final resting place of William Randolph Hearst. <laughs> I find this stone very interesting. This grave over here I found. I was actually pretty excited to find this. This is the final resting place of Francis Joseph Lefty O'Doul. The stone says, the man in the green suit, he was here at a good time and had a good time while he was here. Record 254 hits, 1929 season, National League batting champion, Philadelphia Phillies, 1929 and Brooklyn Dodgers, 1932. Lefty O'Doul. They had a little bat on this stone and uh, a little ball. Three forty nine lifetime. This is awesome. I am loving this one. What I am digging about it here is the door, the artwork on the door. That's what I'm digging about this. It's a huge friggin' door. But check out the, uh, the artwork. I think my internet service is getting spotty in certain parts of the cemetery because I'm trying to like you know look up some of these people that I'm finding on find a grave and um, and trying to search them and it seems like I think my internet service has some interference over here for whatever reason I don't know it's a cloudy day I don't know what the deal is but this one is interesting and awesome J Henry Meyer since my internet is for some reason having some interference how about you guys throw in the comment box below who j henry meyer is if you can do so like i said i'm having a little bit of trouble with the find a grave app and my internet service out here wow this row is very very interesting i'm liking this Kind of all into the side of a hill here. You can see there's leaves on the floor. No one's been in here in a while. Something smells kind of sour in there. I don't know if that's just the plant life in there or if that's something else, but.
Huh. I don't think any of these are marked. But there's flowers in here and there's flowers with a flag down there. Pearl is the last name, I would assume. Now, I'm here looking. I found, on Finding I found it, but as you can see, that's all I'm getting. And even when I try to search on my web browser, that's all I'm getting is just spinny stuff. So, like I said, I think my internet is a little bad here, but the name is Elizabeth Pearl. If any of you guys could get information on her, throw down the comment box. I'm gonna have to rely on some of you to do this today because my internet, like I said, is not acting right here. This one looks like it gets fairly fr frequent visits. Raiden is the name. Right, this one looks like it's full. Let's go explore a few other things out here. Now this one is badass. It's got an Egyptian theme. in this one. Rogers is the name. Uh, I obviously, money was their game, I guess. <laughs> Damn, look at this thing. Doors are very detailed. <sighs> Look at this beautiful one. No name on the outside that I can see. Interesting. Felton is the name it looks like. And I saw it. It's underneath all that. But there it is. Oh my goodness. This one is friggin' awesome. very detailed this thing is old you can tell I can see the inside of it from here through the little grate in the door and um, let me tell you something my friends I could see it looks like this thing's coming apart inside of there As you can see I don't know you can tell see the brick up there it looks like it's coming apart I don't know in the middle well I found some info William Morgan he get this he was the founder get this this is interesting of the California casket company William Morgan so yeah he's the founder of the California casket company so he had a couple of bucks to spend Getting back to this Egyptian themed one, Arthur Rogers, I found out information. My phone started working again. Um, he was actually in the area a well-to-do lawyer. And he must have done very well for himself, judging by the look of the his final resting place. Alright, here is John Dolbeer. 
inventor. In 1850, at the age of 23, he set out to the California Gold Rush to make his fortune. By 1853, he had made connections in the Humboldt Bay Area to establish the Bay Mill. In 1864, he teams with William Carson to form the Dolbeer and Carson Lumber Company. The company grows and John Dolbeer becomes one of the most famous and in in influential personages in the redwood industry in the state of California. His patents showed his in ingenuity in problem solving and among his most useful and successful patents was the, that of the spool or steam donkey which would enable loggers to move giant logs across long distances in adjacent railways. Also his invention of the device used for the measure footage of timber cut by a sawmill. John Dolbear left a lasting legacy in the redwood industry of California and log cutting around the world which continues to this day. Still an awesome cemetery. We had some technical difficulties, but we got through them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you can be notified of all of my future uploads, fellow explorers. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you soon.